Hello and welcome to episode 183 of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast. Today we're talking Avatar The Lost Airbender. Now I did a whole live stream today and unbeknownst to me, uh, there was no audio. So I've got like over four hours of content that I streamed online. <laughs> And my voice is not. I'm just a dumbass talking to himself. And it's not captured. I checked the files. It's not even audible on the files that I have. So I have a bunch of... I've got like six streamed videos. That have no audio. And they're online. They're getting a few views. And I guess people are like... What the hell's wrong with this increasing volumes on their phone and monitors and whatnot. And they're pissed. So... Yeah, imagine how I'm feeling after finding that out. I'm pissed. But uh, let's talk about the show. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, live adaptation show um, on Netflix. Um, great. Uh, so let's, before we start, you know, giving my opinion, let's just, let I me mean, just give a detailed description for those that have never seen the show. Avatar The Last Airbender is no relation with the Avatar and the Blue People show that you know. It's a different show. It's a better show, personally speaking, but whatever. Anyway, uh, this show follows young Avatar, Aang, an airbender, who who has to, you know, an Avatar is a guy who masters all four elements. And the four elements in this universal world is water, earth, fire, and air. Four. Now, our Avatar in this show has mastered air because he grew up in an air temple, basically, where uh, he learned, you know, airbending. And the whole journey, or the whole purpose is, you, when you learn airbending, you have to learn all the other elements. Water, earth, and fire. It's a circle, basically. So, you, if, you are, if you are a fire airbender, you learn that. If you are an airbender, you learn that. Kyoshi was an airbender, and blah, 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 stuff like that. So... Master of all elements, you know, he brings balance to the world. He's, he's, you know, related to everyone, basically. Because every nation in the world is sort of governed under the elements. There's a water tribe. And notice about the show is, only everything is a tribe. The earth, you know, earth, water... But fire, they are the only people that consider themselves a nation for some weird reason. Earthbenders of the earth, northern of Boston, saying, okay, I'm rambling. Anyway, um, so this whole thing is, if you don't know, since this is for people who don't know. So I'm going to give out a brief and, and then we'll do a review on the show. So long ago, <laughs> you thought I was going to be like, long ago. No, I'm not doing that. So this whole thing starts off when the Fire Nation attacks everyone. They they, they want to kill the Avatar. And what they do that, they attack the Northern Nomad, uh, if, I'm not, if I'm saying that right, temple, where the current Avatar is based. And by doing that, they sort of, they wanted to, you know, capture him and prevent him from becoming, you know, because if, if you kill the Avatar, if he dies, he Sort of reincarnates in another body where he'll you know reincarnate if he was an he uh, his core bending was air he would reincarnate for, to the water tribe and if it was core was water he reincarnate on earth and if it was earth he would reincarnate at the fire nation it's pretty much it so basically everybody in the show water bends they they can manipulate water and do all sorts of cool shit with it heal kill uh, defend attack. And then there are earth benders. They can do all sorts of cool stuff with bending the earth. The earth is in the soil. They bend the soil and stuff like that. And then there are very various branches of bending. Each each fire or each element has its own other branches. Fire, there's there's lightning. You can bend lightning because I don't know how lightning is. I guess if you're more evolved, you can bend lightning and then there's water water you can if you're so evolved you can bend blood blood bending which is part of your veins because you're made of water and then there's earth you can bend metal all types of metal if it's from the earth you can bend it sounds pretty dull and pretty cool 
And I've taken up too much of your time with this. Now, that is what we know. Now, let's talk about the show. The show, like I said, is based off an anime that was released on Nickelodeon between 2005 and 2008. Now, some of you kids were not even there, born yet. But I was born when the show was out, and it was amazing. Now, let's talk about the eight episodes that Netflix dropped February 2nd, 224. Okay, let's talk about them. Firstly, the episodes are titled Aang, which talks about Aang himself in the beginning. How he got to be in the ice cube thingy and, and then Warriors, it talks about the Kyoshi people. You know, and Omashu talks about uh, uh, King Boomer in a, an Earthbender, Aang's long lost friend. In the dark, uh, it sort of talks about, in the dark, basically in the dark, let me put it this way. In the Dark is more about, you know, it talks about Oma and Shu. You know, the two lovers that made tunnels in Omashu and they met in the middle and stuff like that. So, it talks about them meeting this, uh, uh, the first earthbenders, the blind, uh, I forgot what, what, what do they call it? Blind mule or something, I don't know. They did all the sorts of bending and stuff like that, who knows. And then a Spirited Away, that's the fifth episode that deals more with the spirit world. We learn more about the face dealer. Uh, we get to see Avatar Roku. And then Masks, uh, that's episode seven. I mean, episode six, rather. Prince Zuku uh, puts on a blue mask and saves Aang, which for a minute, Aang's like, this nigga saving me? Which sort of reveals a different aspect of him, which is great. And then, of course, the North, we get to go to the North Water Tribe, the Northern Water Tribe, and uh, which is great. And then we get to see its beauty and fun before, you know, General or Admiral Zhao shows up and stabs the moon with a knife. Yes, I said I said he stabs the moon with a knife. And that's in Legends episode 8. Which ends up the show and which has one of the things I hate about the show. This whole uh, gigantic monster and transforms into is absolute rubbish by my opinion. Now, the whole show, in terms of graphics and CGI, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty decent. I enjoyed the earth bending from the first seconds of the show, the very first episode. The first thing we saw was earth bending. Great. Then in came fire, which was great as well. And then we saw airbenders. And then we saw the bisons. I was like, oh my god, they really did a great job on Apple. The detail they put on this bison's nose was perfection. The earth bending, the fire bending, and then the water bending. It was all great in terms of bending ability. But was it worth the time that I spent watching this? And to come to realization that I was actually live streaming this, watching this, and I didn't have no fucking audio. Very pissed. I really enjoyed this. And I wish that I did not, had not watched the show in the beginning at all. They, they did a decent job. They did a great job trying to portray a muscular man with King Boomer. They did a great job with Far Lord Oza. He was great. <clears throat> Uncle Io was great. You know, Prince Zuko, the fellow that plays Prince Zuko. Uh, uh, Dallas Liu, Ilu, some Liu, Dallas Liu, if I'm saying his name right. He did a great job. Uh, Saka, uh, you know, Princess Azula, played by Elizabeth Yu, incredible. Gordon Calmer, if I'm saying that right, who plays Avatar Aang. I think, like, I feel like they did a great job. I really do. I feel like they did a great, decent job. You know, they had a lot of stuff on their shoulders. Like, you can you imagine having to put that together? Putting some of one of America's loved animation shows. I feel like they they did a great job. And we gotta talk about, you know, how Saka was rizzing up these girls. Saka was all over up these girls. This dude had the whole show, bear in mind. 
Everybody's fighting. Everybody's dying. This nigga has time to fall in love with two girls. First, he falls in love with Suku. And then he, he falls in love with uh, Yu, Yu, if I'm saying that right. You know, the princess of the Northern Wall, the tribe. He falls in love with her too. I'm like, damn. My dude. You are raising these girls up. And he was doing a great job. It's a kid, so I, 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 if it wasn't, he probably would have smashed on both of them. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Anyway, uh, go watch it. Great stuff. Uh, it gets a four out of five stars from me if I did not know it. But if because I watched it from a point of knowing the show, it gets a three out of five. Basically, I was watching this with two eyes. The eye of an, a viewer that has never seen the show, and the eye of a viewer that's seen the show. Now, the eye of a viewer that's seen the show was bored out of his mind. All I did was compare scenes and compare bits and say, this is trash, this is great, which was very stressful. And the eye of a new viewer, I was like, oh my god, look, this is amazing. So I cannot wait for the second season if it's coming. Netflix has not confirmed that. I guess they're just waiting for to find out if this show itself is going to get a lot of views, a lot of reviews and see how people react to it. And if people love it, they'll probably renew it for a second season. So if if you're new to the show and you have not watched it, Netflix has uh, Avatar, the anime there where you can watch the whole show, all three uh, books of it, book the first book, Water, and then watch Earth and Fire. You can watch it. Or if you don't want to spoil it, just wait for the second season to show up, which I wouldn't advise. And also, there's a there's a, a sequel to the Avatar Lost Airbender there, uh, uh, Avatar Korra. It's also on Netflix, uh, former Nickelodeon show. But the show is also on Netflix, uh, Avatar Korra. You can check that out there, too, and watch a whole new world of a futuristic Avatar who comes after Aang. So... I'm putting you on, brother. Go watch. Adios. This has been episode 183 with yours truly. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.